Hey folks, Welsh Pixie here, and this is Pixie Spirals Nightly, episode 3. Uh, so I'm logging in as Vector again. And last episode I showed you the dungeon system in the tutorial starter area. And uh, today I'm going to head into the main town of Haven and show you around there. Show you what you can find there. Uh, there's uh, lots of NPCs there, different things you can do. There's a crafting system in the game as well. Uh, show you some stuff for that. Uh, let me just check that my volume is... at a decent level. There we go. If I have mail, have I got any more friends requests? It loads of friends requests. Okay, I'll get through those later. <laughs> so, this is the starter town. Now my current objective is cross the chasm to reach Haven. The chasm. The chasm of doom. So that's up here. Need to run all the way up here. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. Like I'm a little shield wobbles on my back. So here we go. Onto here and then we activate something. This dude standing in the way. There we go. Final test. So I need to fight my way through. So uh, start a party, invite only, hello friends, hello guild, will do. Here we go. Loading, 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 loading. I have a bit of a cold, so sorry if my voice is a little bit weird. Okay. So I picked up my Vitapod thing. And here we go. Clockworks, the lobby. Descend. Crossing the chasm, the journey to heaven. Loading again, loading again. Yawn. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Tuesday is good. Here we go. So, let's see what you say. You've made it this far, Knight, but your final exam will require quick thinking and even faster feet. Okay. Power up an attack. Yay! Spikes. Oops, a daisy. Ouch. Um, my internet is crap this morning, so, uh, Game is a little bit laggy. Oh. Let's see, shoot this one. Pew. And go this side. The big gate needs a key. Pew, pew, pew. Yay, coins. Lovely, lovely coins. Oh, what did I open there? The wrong one. Oops. Let's have a look down here. Oops. I need to shoot this again, I think. Oh no, there's one. Yay! Pew pew pew! Ah, evil pink slimes. You know something is evil if it's pink. That's what I always say. 
apart from Minecraft chick. She's the one exception. Okay, now this one. Too far. Yay! Boss fight! Boss fight! You can do it! Yeah, he's down. I got the key. I got the secret. Don't need any hearts. Pick up my key. And run out. So, uh, seeing the comments of the my episode two video that a bunch of you picked up Spiral Knights and you're really enjoying it. So, uh, yeah, that's that's really cool. Um, I'm glad that I've uh, been able to show you an awesome new game that you like. Oops, silly clumsy me. Break all these boxes. Now, at this point, I could just use the key and open the big gate, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna come through this way for more loot and experience and stuff. I should have charged up a shot there. Die, big thing! Treasury. Okay, next. Oh, there's a uh, spikes up there. Awesome spikes. Interesting. There we go. One down. Whew, that was close on those spikes. Oh really? You take lots of chops to get through. Waiting for the spikies! Yay! Yay! So there's another key. Don't need it. Who's there? And I'm gonna pick it up anyway. There we go. Yay! Giant key. I hold my key triumphantly. So here we go. And in goes the key. And the gate opens. Or it doesn't. Oh, maybe you do need both keys. Yay! There we go. Lots of boxes here. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. So I like the puzzle element of this game as well. Uh, it's a very small puzzle element, but it's there. Oops, I missed that, didn't I? Did that go on? No, it didn't. No. There we go. And this one. And this says, these special buttons will only trigger if something is holding them down. Try using that statue to hold one down. I did it already. Okay. 
Up here we go. Treasure boxes. Wee. Coins. Lovely, lovely coins. Running through. This is nice bones on the floor. Ominous pink glow. So there doesn't seem to be anything in that bit. Hidden button. Uh, this thing. I think you can pick this up and when you throw it at stuff it sets them on fire. Like that. But you need to be careful because a mob that's on fire can also set you on fire. And that's also a good strategy in the game is if you were on fire, if one of the, like, something sets you on fire, and then you should just run into a bunch of mobs because it'll set them on fire too. More scaly tums! Leave me be, scaly tums! At least they're slow moving skeletons. I'm not doing too badly. The dungeons also scale, I think, depending on how many people are in your group. So that's that room done. Yay, more treasure! Treasure! Couldn't be much longer now. Oh, here we go. Here's the exit. Yay! Millions of heat! Okay. Boop. Now this should take me nicely into Haven. Danger level. The danger level will tell you how difficult the depth will be with your current equipment. If you see the danger level turn red or purple, beware, you may be adventuring too deep. And this is the little color that's on the corner of the mini-map. So if you go into a dungeon and it's green, then you're good to go. If it's red, then be careful. But if you're in a group with somebody that's a higher level than you and it's green for them and red for you, then you, you should be okay. So this is Haven. Uh, this dude is... It says, welcome to Haven, little one. Please join your friends in procuring shinies from the clockworks. Shinies are always appreciated by the strangers. Can't go down there. Okay, let's run up here. These little birds everywhere, and they fly like helicopters. Silly little birdies. Okay, see what we've got here. This is another NPC. Greetings and welcome to Haven. If you head north, you'll reach the arcade where you can get, oh, where you, you can get up to speed on the details of our mission. If you head west, you'll reach the bazaar where the strangers have a selection of gear and weapons for sale. Be sure to check their stock daily. It changes. So I say thanks for the information. Uh, let's have a look down here. There's another stranger. Please be careful not to step on any of the snipes, little one. Snipes? The snipes are the graceful, adorable, fetchingly corpulent birds you see roaming around Haven. Some say they are the most beautiful creatures in the galaxy, but you would never hear that from snipes themselves, as they are incredibly modest. Ah, so those little birds are called snipes. There's a little park there. So Haven is instanced. Um, I can't remember how you change instance. There is a way of doing it. So I'm in Haven 1 right now. Uh, maybe this is how. If I click Haven 1, then I can select an instance. Uh, capacity red means they are full. So there's tons of instances, and there's some French, German, and Spanish ones down there too. So let's run through into the bazaar. Loading, loading, loading. So Haven is the main adventuring hub, I guess. And the NPCs, you can buy stuff, you trade with the other players and things. So this guy is a Quillian, the blade merchant, so he's selling lots of blades. Um, let me quickly explain uh, the gear. If you look at these here, I uh, can't move the mouse onto them because they'll vanish. But right at the bottom of the window, there's five stars. 
of the bottom of the window that pops up on, on my weapon is five stars. Now, the weapon I currently have equipped has zero of the five stars full. And if I go from 150 crown gear to 3,000 crown gear, you'll see there's one star full on there. And so that's a higher rating gear. The 7,500, there's two stars, and it goes down and down. So what you need to aim for is collecting enough money from the dungeons to, to buy gear with higher star levels, and then when you get heat, you level that gear. Uh, I'm not sure how much money I have uh, currently. Oh, I have 400 crowns. So uh, I'm not going to buy anything until I've got uh, enough to buy a one-star thing, so 3,000 crowns. And you make, uh, starting off, about 1,000 crowns per dungeon run. So this is, the, this is an alchemy station. You, bu you can buy recipes from vendors. And then you learn the recipe and it lets you craft something. And as you go through the dungeon, it's not that window, it's this one, you pick up uh, materials. And different recipes will call for different materials. So that's how you craft things. And, and the recipes are cheaper than the gear. So very often it's much cheaper to craft your own gear than it is to, to buy new gear. Let's see who's here. Shield merchant. So there's even buying guns, armor, shields, weapons, you know, all that stuff. And there's lots of people hanging around here. If I come down here. I think this is the... She's the spiral quartermaster, so she she sells recipes. So like here, this recipe for a, a blast bomb has two stars. So it's... 7,500 crown gear, but the recipe only costs a thousand. And there's a recipe for a blaster here that's only a thousand for two star gear. So, uh, so this requires to craft five blue shards, two bronze bolts, and two gremlin gizmos. And you pick up the shards and the crafting stuff when you go through dungeons. And if you make friends in the game, if you don't have enough of something, you can trade with one of your friends. Um, like I, I play with Yaku, and we between us, we usually get uh, the gear, we, the items we need to craft stuff. Let's go down to the arcade. You can also announce in chat that you want to buy a certain item, and then people will tell you how much they, or how many crowns they want, or what they want to trade for that item. So it's pretty cool. I'm going into the arcade now, and the arcade is where all the adventuring takes place. It's loading slowly. Okay, here's the arcade. So that first dungeon I went through, the newbie dungeon, when I stepped on the elevator. The arcade has a long string of elevators. So you can pick which one you want to go into. And then there are elevators like this one that aren't active yet. And to open them, you need to go into the dungeons that are already active and collect crystals. And then you come up here. And you deposit your crystals into the gate. And that opens that and locks the gate. And you get crowns for depositing crystals, so that's a good way of making money. Let's see who this is. Hello, I'm Vegna, Chief Geonite of the Skylark and Head of Geological Studies with the Clockworks. So from this guy, you can learn about the minerals that you need to collect, these big crystals. So I think that'll be enough for today and next episode I will show you a proper dungeon and maybe even show you some multiplayer play. Um, I'll recall the next episode when Yaku's around and he can come dungeon crawling with me. Yay! Um, you can see there's lots of people around and they're all in very different gear. Like this guy's got a crown on his head, lots of them have a wolf head gear thing. So it's uh, you can look very different in the game. It's cool. And they have guilds too. And I think there's a Minecraft Workbench guild that Crux, one of our administrators, created. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'll see you for the next episode. Bye!